triangles are also important in subd modeling and you can't neglect their importance just the thing is that you should know how to use them to achieve your design because there are n number of ways to model anything and i'm going to show you one of the way of modeling to create this design you need to add the cylinder with the 64 words then you can scale it along the z axis then you need to go to the edit mode and you need to add three loop cuts in this way after that you need to go to the top view and turn on your x-ray mode and select the words in this way you need to select the seven words at there three from both the side and one center words in the similar manner you need to select the words here also and then go to the side view and then deselect the top and bottom words and then you can move these words along the z axis in this way just you need to take the symmetry along the x and y axis after that select this edge loop and move it along the z axis and select this bottom edge loop and same thing move it along the z axis then select these face loops and just adjust their position little bit along the z axis then you can add supporting loop cuts in this way and then you can select these face loops and use the extrude along the normal and extrude inside and then you can add loop cut like this and then dissolve these edges so you will get this kind of tapered shape at there that tapered form then just add more supporting loop cuts at there to maintain that form and then you can delete the top and bottom faces then hit the control 2 to add the subd modifier and shade smooth it and now you can see you are getting this kind of design if you are okay with this design then that's fine but if you want more harder edges add there then you need to add supporting loop cuts you can add this kind of loop cuts at the corner position you can see they are going to destroy the cylindrical form so just dissolve them then add one more new loop cut add there i am going to show you another way to achieve that detail then add another loop cuts at here okay and then use your knife tool and create a cut in between these loop cuts just connect these words in this way you can see the way i have created that cut then add one more loop cut and scale it along the z axis and move it along the z axis and give the position somewhere here then you can select that edge which is going to destroy the cylindrical form and dissolve it now you can see i'm getting decent look at there now you need to repeat the same steps for that complete design just add loop cuts in this way add one more loop cut at here and then select the words and then connect them with the right click breach edge loop or with the knife tool then you can add the bottom edge loop and same thing scale it along the z axis and move it along the z axis and then you can dissolve these edges then here also you can see i'm getting that edge loop just add one loop cut at here and then connect this words and then you can dissolve this edge loop which is destroying that cylindrical form it's very simple you need to repeat the same steps for overall design and you can achieve the final results just add the loop cuts and connect the words and then dissolve edges which are destroying that cylindrical form and easily you can achieve the final results at there you can use the symmetry also at here but it is quite confusing for me to take the symmetry so that's why i have done this thing manually if you want to take the symmetry then you can there are n number of ways of modeling anything but it takes time to understand to do experiment with your modeling skill to learn the topology and how you can use that topology to achieve your design so that's why just you need to do one thing which is practice and it's very simple there is one more important thing which you should know i will tell this thing at the end of the video because that thing is important to finish the model triangles are okay in the modeling but try to avoid n-gons at there so that's why you can select these words and you can connect them and you can see that face loop there are some edges which i need to dissolve so just dissolve those edges you can see the face loop structure the way i am getting that face loop structure at there you can see 
the face loop structure for that center part and I'm getting that complete face loop structure at there which looks really well and you can add more supporting loop cuts at there if you want then and you can see the design I'm getting at there but still there is a little bit of pinching you can switch the matte cap view and you can check the shading there is a small pinching I'm getting to avoid that pinching I need to dissolve these edge loops and now you are not going to get that pinching at there the last important thing is very simple when we create this kind of topology just keep a little bit of distance in between these edge loops so you are not going to get the pinching because that topology want to get the good flow at there so that's why you need to keep a little bit of distance in between your edge loops in this way we can achieve this kind of design if you want to support this channel then you can join the membership that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this video then please hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye see so next video i don't really know what comes next i'm just doing my